How much difference can a light bulb make? Well, if you ask those who frequent Flint's Buckham Alley, they'll tell you a whole lot. An organization is hoping to raise $50,000 to permanently string lights across the alley. Now, it's all part of a beautification project. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph joins us live from Buckham Alley with more. Walter. Stadium Bill, a walk down Buckham Alley is really a walk down any alleyway that you would see in America. You had your back door entrances over here. You had your garbage cans over here. Well, the organizers of this fundraiser say sprucing all of this up will bring new life to downtown Flint. They're halfway to their goal, and they're hoping you can help with the other half. When the lights go up, Buckham Alley comes alive. Anything that makes Buckham Alley a more attractive place is going to be a good thing, obviously, for my business. That's because the only entrance to Timothy Goodrich's shoe store is in Buckham Alley. Support downtown Flint. Goodrich and a pending nonprofit called Friends of the Alley, hoping that support comes to a crowdfunding campaign that looks to raise $50,000 to permanently light the alleyway. Everybody loves the lights up in the alley and we hate taking them down after the festival because they, they're so pretty and they're inviting. A grant from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation would match the money raised, leading to even more upgrades. So things like bike racks, things like planters, um, you know, sprucing up some of the back of the buildings. It makes everybody want to come visit the establishments downtown. Goodrich hoping the goal is reached because more lights could mean more foot traffic in his shoe store. Every new thing like this is just going to make it that much more of a place that people want to be. Now, at last check, they had raised about $26,000. There are still 18 days left in this campaign, and they still need another $24,000. For more information on how you can help, head to our website and click on mynbcnews.com and click on this story for that info. For now, reporting live from downtown Flint, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News.